hopefully I can get it in the frame. Hold on. People on boats, <clears throat> golfers, kayakers. Personally, me, I would do that in the early morning or the late evening time. Because it's little, it's literally like almost 12 o'clock. Um, yes, I put some makeup on. I did my, um, I do have that filter on too though. But I did put makeup on. Because my, my skin has been looking really good. But unfortunately, sometimes you get those hormones. <laughs> and they and you start getting your little pimples. I can't find it. You see. It's this color is called um NYX and I've talked about it before in the color teal. And I just put it in the corners of my eye, but you want to make sure that you're um see how <laughs> see okay, so you don't want to <clears throat> You don't want it to be too thick. You just want a nice little line and don't overdo it. I think I did overdo it with the eyeshadow. <laughs> and I'm just wearing um, same old stuff. <sighs> same old clothes. I think I'm gonna go clothes shopping. I have not like gotten anything in such a long time it's time it's time um so i'm sorry i don't know the date i just know it's if you hear any squeaking it's my feet and stuff um and if you see any face going out of frame it's because i'm going out of frame in the filter but i only have the filter set on um just the um like up here because as you can see if, if I had like the full filter on you wouldn't be seeing these pimples so I'm trying to block my neck from the sun so we're getting a lot of questions about why I don't talk about like relationship stuff anymore and I'm like I didn't even like notice it I thought like I just didn't realize I haven't really talked about like relationship stuff and it's been a while it's been um a long time since I've talked about uh relationship stuff so I thought I'd make a video on relationship topic I hope you all can hear me so I guess now is a good time to actually make a video on that. Um, but today's topic is um, when to let go, you know, when to let go of a relationship, um, accept it for what it is and move on. Um, if a relationship for example, um, like I used to have this group and we would meet up and I just stopped doing it because people were flaky and these women are just, anyway, mm -mm. I don't do that anymore. I don't do those groups, but <clears throat> we would have talks and if your relationship is, if you have requested something out of your relationship and it hasn't happened and you gave that person you know multiple 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 <laughs> multiple multiple chances to fix it see look I'm gonna open my eye <laughs> I'm gonna open my eyes you can kind of like see 
Oh, I know what it it filters okay so i have the green on but i think it's filtering that like liner thing makes your eyes go like that <laughs> okay so yeah but that's the only filter i have on is the eye and up here because i had a uh, like um a scratch but as you can see, it's not really much of a face filter because I still see my acne. So yeah, you know, if you've been in a relationship and you've needed something out of that relationship to improve and you gave that person, you know, months and months in years and years <laughs> to fix it you know and they never did y you you gotta move on you have to accept the fact they don't want what you want basically you have to accept the you have to accept it okay because you have to realize if that person was on the same page as you, you wouldn't repeat yourself. You would never had to repeat yourself over and over again. Um, and, and I say give up, but it's not really giving up. It's just, well, it is. It's, it's you're just over it you know you you're you've accepted that that person um doesn't want what you want um they're not going to give you what little bit you asked for and um you know it's hard to accept that because in your mind you're thinking you love that person so much you you don't want to let go you don't want to let go because you love them and you want you know you want that perfect relationship another reason to let go um, the first reason is you know you're not getting what you're asking for second reason is if and I'm not necessarily talking about myself some of this is about myself but just take it with a grain of salt you know it's like stuff I've talked about with other women as well so this doesn't just pertain to me um, but the second thing is if 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 you guys have lost respect um if the other person you know has mentally you know abused or said some things that you just can't get over like that has affected you and you know in your mind that you will you will never get over that like yeah there's some things couples can say that are mean or whatever but then there's like really 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 bad things and that's verbal abuse it's not just saying something mean and getting over it the next day it's you know kind of like trauma you know something that this person loves me but they would they say they love me but they would say certain things like that to me that's not love anyone who wishes death or you know says bad things you know like that to you um can't move on you gotta know the difference between 
you know, having a little verbal argument, you know, like, oh, you're so annoying. You always freaking annoy me. Whatever. You can get over that. Or you get on my nerves. You're really getting on my nerves. Like, I can't, I just can't stand you. Stuff like that, you can, you can get over because it's not like, harmful to you or life-threatening to you or it doesn't make you feel sad um but if you know I mentioned this in in videos a long time ago and honestly I wasn't gonna make any videos like that anymore because it never it hasn't been in my head like that anymore but I do feel like it's a good time to help anyone who is trying to um, let go and how to let go. Um, uh, some people have been in relationships for so long, like so many years, and they feel like I can't can't get out I can't get out I can't get out and you don't realize what the hell you've been through until you leave have an eyelash hanging oh my god look see I told y'all so this is what this app does like if I didn't have my eyelashes on that's how my eyes would look so that's why it makes See, look. Ah! <laughs> See, look. So that's what it does. The, this little app is just like... I don't know. But the green eyeliner, I did that. It's not the app. And then I put a little bit on my eyelid. I didn't color. But that's what the app does. I think it focuses on the eyes. But I didn't make it focus or change my face or my structure of my face or you don't see any contouring you still see my blemishes so yeah it's just the eyes <laughs> that's so funny okay so um you gotta let go um when you feel depressed when you feel depressed about the relationship um or if the person makes it seem like what they did wasn't that bad um when you see that person every day they put in your mind and they put in your head what they did wasn't that bad but you know it was very very bad but you you love that person so much you stay and you stay and you stay but little by little you are wasting away you'll start to look really bad you'll you'll be you'll be heavier you know you'll you just won't look good um when you're in a relationship that you need to let go of you don't look good and you don't realize it until you look back and you're like oh my god ew So, yes, the first thing is you've asked for something. <laughs> for barely, barely little, barely anything. Like, you know, my for, for example, for me, like, the only thing I ever required was... A house and a kid. Um, you know. 
I never required a million dollar home or you know new clothes every week or a closet full of designer bags or jewelry all I required was just a decent home a child a family um I wasted a lot of time waiting on that and I let you know again when you lit when you love someone you live with someone sometimes you're not thinking clearly and then once you're out of the relationship why didn't I why didn't you know why didn't I leave sooner why in the world did I wait you know time goes by so fast like I look back I've been here for I think this this November will be like seven years I was in a relationship for I think five and a half six years so I, I can't remember I just know that when I moved out here I um, you know I met my ex you you know videos way down below um, you know my ex you know, I, I met him literally six months after I moved out here six months and you know you 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 build a life with another person and you know you think this is how it's going to be and it's crazy how life just ooh, God is like nope this isn't for you um, the third thing to know when to let go of a relationship, um, and I'm not talking about myself, so what some of these things I'm talking about is not necessarily pertaining to me, okay? I don't like to badmouth anyone, so I'm not going to do that. Uh, but someone is harming you or physically sexually abusing you you get out that's all I'm gonna say I'm not going in any deeper with that I can't um because once you um been through physical you can't get over it. You always think about that, like when you're when you're looking at that person. You you will always think about, you know, what they said and what they did, and that will never go away. And that's what I meant a long time ago. Once respect is gone, you got to leave. Once respect is gone, you can have disagreements. You can have arguments. You can have things you guys just don't agree on. But as soon as a person starts wishing bad things upon you, like like harmful death and stuff that that goes way that that is no you don't you don't say things like that to somebody you love you don't you would never say things like that and unfortunately most people who have done these things um, never 
apologize or they never think that they were wrong or they want to shift the blame on you she, she left me it's her fault she left me when there's always a reason people don't just leave people people don't just uh, I'm, I'm, I'm tired of you bye I mean yeah <laughs> but there's a reason why a person steps away they leave um so I think those are the three main things is if you've been requesting you've been asking for someone to do something over and 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 over for years and 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 years excuse 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 you're done that alone just that just that alone you should go but to have that and then you know verbal physical i'm leave all i'm gonna leave those two alone those are very sensitive topics um and i think a lot of women they you you'll never you you have to get closure within yourself that person will never I don't think that that person will ever say they're sorry and really mean it or admit that they did those things um so you can't expect an apology you can't expect um that person to to feel really bad about the things they did because a lot of times what they do is they they'll trick their own mind she made me do this she made me do that no 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 no. everyone has self-control no man puts their hands on a woman because she made him so you have to get closure from what happened within yourself because you probably will never get an apology or a genuine apology from the other person because they never loved you. Um, they never loved you. They might have cared for you or lusted after you or, you know, but that, they never loved you. And you have to accept it and move on even if and it's not a waste of years like you can't look at it like you wasted all these years you can't look at it like that you have to look at it like you've learned okay now I know you know I didn't respect myself I didn't love myself I didn't respect myself enough because I was too, I love the other person too much before myself. So I just wanted to get on here and let, you know, let you all know when, it's more for ladies, but I guess men too. I don't think a lot of women, some women do abuse men. Um, And again, I'm not saying anyone I'm not saying you know I'm just talking about other people mixed in with myself you know so I never want to speak bad about other people you know I just want to say that those things are is when you know it's time to let go and accept 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 it that it happens and you gotta move on gotta move on guys um god always always has a plan for you and what you may think was a plan what your plan was i wonder what
what my eyes would look like if it was more like this. You know how they have this new look now, new trend of women's eyebrows? <laughs> it's like that. Hold on. Let me see if I can do it on this side. Wait. Hmm, that looks good. <laughs> I don't know. You know how, what's her name? Jen, um, Kendall? She has like that eyebrow that goes like, like fox eyes. That looks pretty cool. I like this. Anyway. Just remember... You know, sometimes what you think um, is meant for you is not meant for you. And you have to just get to move on. God has something else planned for you. Okay? Alright, y'all. I will talk to you in another video. And please like, share, subscribe to my channel. Don't forget um, about my FNX. Super Greens coupon below. Alright, bye y'all.